डियर लर्नर लेट एस स्टार्ट टू रिमेम्बर विदेल्प ऑफ ट्रिक देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट बुक्स विच गिव डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वैल्यूज फॉर एन एम आर सो दर इज नॉट एनी फिक्स वैल्यू वैल्यू विल बी वेरी फ्रॉम रेंज एंड बट दे आर वेरी नियर सो यर माई attempt is make in a technical in a trick form so people can easily recall it when they see the spectra so here i have combined this value is near to that not this exact value because exact value no one can say here because value can vary so let us try to understand the different nmr value in a trick form so typical chemical shift reagent in organic compound so first we based on a number of carbon so first case is based on number of carbon let us see a first member is we have methane then ethene then ethyne that we have to the important so first we have a methane the formula is ch4 okay let us see here this is tetramethylsilane there is no any special requirement everyone know that the delta value is zero let us go to the here this is known as a methyl this is known as a methylene this is known as a methyl when we move from methyl to methylene to methene there is approximately increase a value by 0.3 here also it is increased by a 0.3 so i can say if the methyl value is 1.2 then for the same compound methylene value is 1.5 and methene value is 1.8 let us see second a number of carbons so how many carbons are in that methane that is one so we can say their value or the hydrogen which is present on that their value is also nearer to one so first we can remember or recall by that way that is 0.8 the 0.8 is a uh, this delta value uh, that is 0.3 0.3 increment so 0.8 is a methyl proton attached to the sp3 then i will add 0.3 i will get this h that is what methylene this is methylene group attached to the sp3 carbon then we have again 0.3 that is uh, we are getting a 1.4 so i can say this is one of the technique we can remember second a carbon with four bond so range is 0.8 to 0.4 1.12 to 0.4 1.4 to 0.4 so range also can be remember here also we have to remember the range because this is the first member so most of the organic compound has a such a, a methyl methylene and methane group so this is a case number 1 let us go to the case number 2 this is based on the proton number so after completion of the alkene we move to the two parts one is alkene and another one is alkyne so basic member of alkene and basic member of alkyne so basic member of alkene it is ethene and ethene containing a four proton and alkyne containing a two proton so i can say that the range is start from alkyne that is two okay this is what acetylenic proton acetylenic proton that means c triple bond c and h this is known as acetylenic proton but the trick is there are two hydrogen so the range start from the two let us go ahead and see the alkene alkene containing a four this ethene containing a four hydrogen range start from the four here case of the range is 2 to 3 here range 4 to 6 2 to 3 i have taken the reason is 
alkyne containing a uh, two hydrogens the half of that it is one so two plus one then olefinic containing a uh, four hydrogens four hydrogens a half of this is plus two so that is four to six let us go and see this aromatic compound aromatic compound has how many hydrogens are there i can say there are six hydrogen so then start from the six half of that it is plus three so it is six to nine so this is a technique and trick we can easily remember that let us go to the case number that is aromatic and heterocyclic proton then case number three uh, sorry this is case number three that we have to take a uh, based on a uh, oxygen number so basically we will take this carbonyl group containing a uh, oxygen so oxygen has a symbol o and we keep the one so we can say mostly the proton which is present on the carbonyl group it is nearer to 10 the first is this 9 to 10 that is aldehydic protons because it is uh, like this and here we can make in such a way that it is 10. This is near to 10. Then carboxylic acid containing 2 oxygen. So their value is more than 10. This is a less than 10 or near to 10. This is more than 10. That is carboxylic acid. That also containing uh, oxygen. The question is, the question is, what about uh, oxygen of alcohol? That is no, no. The something trick is there about no also that we will see in a continuous uh, learning process. Let us go ahead. Uh, though this is a trick, this is very basic. I will explain in the next uh, video a little bit a change in that also. Let us go ahead a practical example uh, based on a pi value. Suppose in a last slide we have seen the value is at 1.8 for the methane. So I want to check what is the delta value about uh, this edge which is nearer to this is nearer to this carbonyl group. So I am discussing about this. The value of this is this is a methane. It is 1.8. And I have, this is the example of pi bond. How many pi bonds are there? There is one pi bond. For one pi bond, we can give the increment by 2. So, the value is nearer to 2.0 ppm. The range would be there. And there, here, there is no required to range. Range is required, whatever I have, I have given very basic. Then, we discuss about uh, this one. Suppose we have CH, then H. Sorry, this is this is carbon, this is also carbon, and this is our H. And here the nitrile group is there. So this is there are two pi bond. Actually, the concept is based on these uh, hybridizations, but I am giving you a trick. So trick in the form of so this value is 1.8. For pi, uh, there are two pi bond. For one pi bond, there is 0.2 value. For, for two pi bond, there is 0.4 value. So I can say this is near to 2.2 ppm. Okay, let us go uh, based on the electronegativity. So, what is electronegativity? The basic molecules of electronegativity is fluorine. Then, uh, I, I remember in such a way fluorine, chlorine, bromine, that way. Then, here oxygen and a uh, nitrogen. This is a basic. There are uh, uh, range is there, but it is not required for us right now. So, what about that? So, when a fluorine is attached, if you know the organic chemistry, their value, electronegative value is a very highest and highest value is nearer to 4. So, I can say it is, uh, their value is around about a 4.3, decreased by a 1, that is 3.3, decreased by 1, that is 2 point, uh, sorry, we cannot take this one, uh, that is a 2.3. So, this is what I, I want to show here. The trick is, suppose we have CH3F. Their value is nearer to, uh, that is, their value is nearer to, I can say, 4 point, I can say 4.3. Nearer to oxygen, that means it is CH3O. 
so it is a 3.3 and this one this is a ch3 n it can be connected at here but the value is nearer to 2.3 then increment and the decrement from the ch3 we move to the another value uh, ch uh, ch3 to ch2 increase by 0.3 CH2 to CH increase by under 0.3 then we are getting a such a value so I hope you get that now this is about a fluorine or we can say halogen a halogen can be available in the form of FCH3 then CLCH3 then BRCH3 this is their maximum value we can say nearer to 4 that is very fixed halogen is there their maximum value is there so 0.4.3 from here to here we have to decrease by 1 that is 3.3 that is decreased by half this one one is half is 0.5 so I can say it is a 2.8 ppm so dear learner the important is a first what I have show you but little bit if you want to change if you want to know then you can also change see here let us go ahead about uh, I have told you something that there is also the policy of no for the oxygen what is no no is indicated that if H is on nitrogen or oxygen that is known as an acidic proton that is known as a acidic proton we can say there is no fixed there is no no fixed delta value but I can say they are also single bonded so I can say they are within 0 to 5 ppm 0 to 5 ppm and the last is this all about uh, proton NMR but what about the carbon NMR so a delta value, a delta value of proton into 20, that is a delta value of, that is a delta value of CMR. This is also approximate and we need only approximations. We don't require this exit value. Suppose we can say this aromatic proton aromatic proton have a delta value they have the range 6 to 7 but I can say the delta value is 8 ppm. Neighboring group is also giving the value. So, 8 into 20, it give a 160 ppm. Then the, the carbon that is aromatic have a delta value round about a 160. So, there is no need to remember the carbon's CMR a delta value. This is all about a uh, delta value which one of the student has asked me. So I have made my best. So you learn it and I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy it and want to continuously learn that then like, share and make a entertainment of a spectra solving a continuously. Thank you. Thank a lot. You can also suggest me if you want any other.